This video is going to demonstrate how you can use algebra tiles to simplify an expression where one polynomial is being subtracted from another. Well, in order to do this with tiles, let's begin by modeling our first polynomial. And remember, we don't need to change anything on our first polynomial when it's subtraction. So we have negative x squared. We have two positive x's. I'm going to use empties for negative and shaded for positive in my example. That's my legend. And a negative unit tile. To this, I am going to take away, subtract, two positive x squared tiles, one negative x tile, and two positive unit tiles. Well, it's kind of hard to take away something that's not actually present in your starting polynomial. So in order to account for this and use our model, we're going to keep our first polynomial the same, but we'll change this from a subtraction statement into an addition statement. So let's take the negative sign or subtraction, let's turn it into a positive, and let's flip each tile that's inside of this polynomial bracket here. So here we go x squared positive becomes negative x squared, negative x becomes positive x, and our positive two unit tiles become negative unit tiles. Well, at this point, since it's addition, all we have to do is combine our like terms. So let's redraw them with like terms grouped together. I have my negative x squared tile and two negative x tiles from the second polynomial. I have two positive x's here, And I have a positive x right there, so let's draw those together. And last but not least, I have my unit tiles. I have three negative unit tiles. And you notice there's actually no zero pairs that are going to have to be accounted for here. I simply have what I see. So three negative x's, x squared, sorry. So it's negative 3x squared plus 3x minus 3. And that's how you can use tiles to model a subtraction problem.